So looking at rates, the speed of a chemical reaction. Uh, well, the rate stoichiometry is a focus on this one, but the rate is the change of concentration over change of time. This is how we measure a rate. So we can pick a, a reactant or a product, watch the uh, concentration change with time, and we'll get a, a rate here. So this change of concentration versus time. We usually do a molarity. We sometimes do something else. Um, so as an example, I'm going to be doing um, uh, this reaction between nitrogen and um, hydrogen to make ammonia. So you put nitrogen and hydrogen into a reaction vessel, we heat it up, and the reaction starts. So if we That's not too bad. So if we look at uh, concentration, so starting off with a relative concentration, nitrogen and hydrogen are the same, and we have no ammonia. So we heat it up, it starts to react. So concentrations of nitrogen and hydrogen start to decrease, and we see they don't decrease at the same um, rate. They decrease differently. And then we start to uh, produce ammonia also, so it has a its rate of being produced. So these are the concentration versus time. If we do the slope of these, that is the rate. So slope will be change of concentration over change of time, our definition of our rate. So if we do our slope, we get our rates. And um, now I kept the original signs here. So these are decreasing, so we have a negative rate when we do that change of concentration over time, negative slope, but we see that they're not the same rate. So the rates are different between the two reactants, and then uh, the ammonia is, uh, gives us a positive slope because it's increasing. And if we look at the numbers, so the, the nitrogen is uh, just less than 0 0.02 uh, molarity per time. And um, the ammonia is a little bit less than 0 0.04, and the hydrogen is a little bit less than 0 0.06. So none of the rates are matching right now. So let's play with how we can get from one rate to another rate. So let me just uh, do a, a rate of 0 0.02 for nitrogen and show how we can change from one to the other. So let me take a 0 0.02. 0 0.02. I'll call it molarity per minute for our nitrogen, N2. So how do we figure out what that is going to be in terms of rate of hydrogen versus rate of ammonia. And we do that based on the, the reaction equation here. We use this stoichiometric reaction equation. So we're going to multiply this by this stoichiometric ratio. So we're looking for hydrogen first. So there'll be three uh, moles of hydrogen over one mole of nitrogen. That gives 0 0.06 molarity per minute of our hydrogen.
and I'm um, see so going back down here. You see, we went from 0 0.02 for the hydrogen to about less than 0 0.06. So it's less than 0 0.02, less than 0 0.06. So it's just following the stoichiometry of the chemical equation is what it's doing. So we'll do the same for our uh, converting to ammonia. So for ammonia, its stoichiometric ratio is two. So we end up with a 0 0.04 molarity per minute. This is what we saw on, on the graph. So let me go uh, one more direction here. Um, so I'll go from the um, hydrogen to the ammonia. So let me do the 0 0.06. For the hydrogen. So to go from hydrogen to ammonia, it's going to be two moles of ammonia over three moles of hydrogen. And then this will come out to be a Zero four, so it's the same answers what we had over there. But we're getting from different calculation, which is a good way to uh, verify that our calculations are correct. But the real, the other aspect of this is when we talk about a chemical reaction, we really would love to give a, a single rate for the whole reaction. So what we're going to do for our rate so for reactants we see that our slope is negative so we're going to do a, a negative delta change of concentration so I'll call this reactant one over its coefficient times the delta t. So we're going to be doing our reactant divided by its coefficient. Our reactant divided by its coefficient, reactant divided by its coefficient. For the reactants, it'll be um, a negative here. So this slope here is negative, so we end up with a positive rate. So our goal is to have a positive rate each time. And for products, it will be a positive change of the product divided by its coefficient and delta t. So since products are increasing, they have a positive slope. Um, we have a positive here. We do our rate divided by its coefficient. So if we check up here, we have our 0 0.02 divided by 1 gives our 0 0.02 based on nitrogen. And let's see, let's use another one. So 0 0.06 divided by 3 gives the same number of 0 So we will be asked some questions that you can convert from one reactant to another reactant. And then we're going to be using this to get the overall rate for the reaction. So it'll be our rate change of concentration versus time made positive for our reactants divided by the coefficient. So we always get the same numerical value. 